Hello, today we are in the uh, conditional code chapter of Learn to Code 1, and we're doing the third activity, Looping Conditional Code. In the Looping Conditional Code, we are going to essentially do what we did last time, where we're going to check each square, each tile, to see if it has a closed switch, and then we'll toggle it. Does it have a gem? We'll collect it and then keep moving forward and doing that on each square of this puzzle. So that if statement with an else if in there is going to be embedded inside a for loop so that it will happen for every one of the tiles in this puzzle. And there are 12 tiles. All right. So the first thing we should do is um, let's just set our loop here for one iteration because I just want to actually run our code and see if it, what happens inside this puzzle when we run our code. Okay. So the first thing you see are some white wireframe gems and switches. They're outlined in white but not filled in. And then those go away and some of the gems and some switches show up. And some on some tiles there are gems, on other tiles there are switches, and some of the switches are closed and some are open. Let's do it again. And they seem to be arranged randomly. Every time I run this, you get a different configuration of where the gems and switches pop up and which gems are closed and which ones are open. So this is a, a perf perfect example of how we're going to need to move forward onto a tile and in each one of the tiles we're going to check all the different possibilities using an if else if statement and the different possibilities are if we're on a closed switch we're going to toggle the switch if we're on a gem we're going to collect the gem okay so let's go ahead and uh, try this just for maybe oh five uh, five tiles here so after our move forward, we're on a tile that may have a switch or a gem. So let's check if we're is on a closed switch, we want to toggle the switch. Okay. And remember, if we tap our if statement, we can choose this add else if statement right here. Because we also want to check if we're not on a close switch, we may be on a gem. So if is on gem, we want to collect the gem. Collect the gem. I think those are the only two things we need to check for right now. Now, once we're done checking for those things and dealing with switches or gems, we come down here and there's no other code in our for loop right here at the end of our for loop. So we'll go back up to the top of the for loop and we'll do it all again, which includes a move forward onto the next tile and then checking if we're on a closed switch. Uh, if we're not, we'll check if we're on a gem. If we're on a gem, we'll collect the gem and so on. So let's run through this and we'll get a new configuration of the puzzle. And there are some gems and one closed switch. So here's Bike going, he's collecting uh, two gems. He skipped right over that closed switch, which is good because he's only checking if I'm sorry, he, he skipped right over the open switch and he's all because he's only checking if he's on a closed switch and then he toggled it. All right, so this is great. This looks like if we wanted to just extend our for loop a little further because this move forward will happen. Uh, let's actually try it six and see what happens. Let's do this six times and see if Byte will take the portal over there. This will be a good uh, check to see what happens. All right, he's on a gem. He collects a gem. Open switch, he does nothing. Close switch, he opens, the, toggles the switch. Gem, collects it. Close switch, toggles it. The sixth step, he's going to take the portal. And I think this code is actually running here. This if statement is running, but he's not on a closed switch, nor is he on a gem. He's on a portal, so he doesn't do any of these things. Probably in um, iterations 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12, we'll just keep on going, uh, checking uh, for closed switches and gems. So let's try that. Let's change our for loop to be now 12 and run it one time through see if we solve that puzzle. 
He's on a closed switch, he toggles it. He's on a gem, collects it. On a closed switch, toggles it. On a gem, collects it. On an open switch, does nothing. On a portal, does nothing except transport. On an open switch, nothing. Open switch, nothing. And closed switch, toggles it. Gem, collects. Gem, collects. And the twelfth tile, gem, collects. Good. We did it. Okay, nice. So just to review here, before we try something else, I just want to review what we've got in here is what we're doing is we're dealing with each tile here in this bit of code. We're, with this bit of code inside the for loop is saying, what should we do on every tile? Okay, And then uh, and that includes a move forward and then dealing with switches and gems. Now, if we embed that in a for loop, that's going to say, visit every tile visit every tile and do your sequence of commands that you want to do for every tile inside there. Okay, That's why they call it a for loop because it's saying for every tile we want to do this sequence of commands. Move forward and this if statement we can say is just deal with whatever's on tile. Move forward, deal with whatever's on the tile. Okay, now before we go um, I have a challenge for you. Uh, why don't we quickly see if you can change your code so that if you're on an open switch, okay, not on a closed switch, keep what happens on a closed switch, we want to toggle it. If we're on a gem, we want to collect a gem. But if we're on an open switch, I want you to turn byte all the way around, 360 degrees all the way around so that he keeps going. Okay? All right, pause the video and uh, see if you can add that to your code and uh, when you get that working come back and unpause it and I'll show you my solution. Okay welcome back hopefully you were able to do that. Um, I'm just going to do this solution real quickly here. I'm I've got an if statement here and again I'm just going to click add another else statement because this is yet another possibility for what can happen on a tile. We could have an open switch. So now we've got, if we're on a closed switch, we toggle the switch. Else if we're on a gem, we collect gem. Else if we are on an open switch. If we're on an open switch, I want to turn byte all the way around 360 degrees. And I'm going to do that by doing a turn left, another turn left, another turn left, and another turn left, all within uh, this else if clause right here. So inside these curly braces for else if we're on an open switch, I'm going to turn left, turn left, turn left, turn left. Okay? All right, great. Uh, I'm going to run that uh, really uh, just doing uh, run faster here. And let's watch what happens. Closed switch. Our open switches are all on the next row. Takes the portal over. Here's an open switch. He turns all the way around. Collects a gem, found an open switch, turns around, collect gem, collect gem, collect gem. Okay, we've got our five switches and our six gems. All right, so uh, nice job, everyone. Uh, next time, we're going to be looking at a puzzle which is called Conditional Climb. So there'll be some stairs in our next one to deal with. All right, see you then.